Daisy and Brutus at the barn to show you how to measure using tools. Brutus, I wonder how many inches the barn window measures? When measuring you want to line the item, you are measuring up with the zero on the measuring tape. The zero on this measuring tape is at the end of the metal. Then you look to see what number on the measuring tape lines up with the end of the item we are measuring. It looks like it ends at six inches. This window measures six inches wide. That's right. Sometimes we are asked to find the measurement of an item, but it is not lined up with the end of the tape measure or ruler. Look here. We are trying to find the length of a kernel of corn to the nearest inch. Well, isn't it just three inches because that is where the end of the kernel lines up with the number on the ruler. You would think, but look where the kernel begins. Oh, it is lined up on the one. This means we have to find the difference between one and three to find the length of the kernel of corn. There is one, two inches between the one and three. The kernel must be two inches long. That is right. When reading measurements, first look to see where the item begins. If it doesn't start at zero, then you will need to find the difference between the beginning of the item and the end of the item. Wow. There is a lot to remember about measuring. Let's go to the lake and measure some more things. Sounds fun. See you down there.